Have you read the script? Do you feel one with Lady Fourteen Flowers yet? Oh, that's the spirit. Let's get you into the back and costumed up, Lady Fourteen Flowers. Watch closely. We shall see if the informant was accurate. Imagine condemning the Jade Empire at its heart. The fools. All of Heaven's blessings guide him, but sagacious Tien has been absent from the palace for such a time. His conquests of the Northern Kingdoms have kept his light from us. All the scattered kingdoms have seen the light of his rule, and our Emperor's advisors grow in number. The arable lands to the south, all the way to the useless jungles, which were left as nothing for the Monkey King, are fused into the mighty Jade Empire. To the east, sagacious Tien has spread his light to the very waters themselves, and lo, to the west, he found enlightenment among the hills of the Six Holy Scrolls. But what word from the wastes of the Horse Lords? Aha! What is this? Why, it is Lady Fourteen Flowers. We can only hope she brings word. My dearest Lady Fourteen Flowers, under what banner does your entourage travel today? Your banner was a blend? How odd. The spot has reported that it was the purest white of the lily, as if there was word of peace. Your arrival here is certainly welcome, as your kingdom is one of the most recent to join the Jade Empire. We have had word that the hostilities have ceased. Tell me, most gracious lady, when was this momentous decision reached? He, but, uh, yeah, I see. How my lady would know such a thing, I will not ask, for I fear the answer most deeply. <laughs> Regardless of the decision's timing, I'm sure our exalted leader acted upon his mind when the day faded to night. He would think upon things for the day. And tell me, most gracious madam, when the final blow was struck, where was our noble leader? Deep in the wastes of the north? Ah, uh, raking sand, you say? Ah, I see you are speaking in metaphors. For surely, the Emperor must have been surveying the cold plains he had just conquered in the name of Enlightenment. There's been nothing but the gentle drafts of spring here in the Imperial City for weeks. With such a chill in the air, was this some time ago? Prophecy, is it? I see that the good lady toys with fortunate puzzle. For surely, we mortals can know nothing of the future or of events far away from the capital. Indeed, I suspect that the true story lies in how far north the Emperor's reach is spread. It seems to me that some part of your story remains untold. Do my questions block the truth? Tell me this, if nothing else, good lady. When the cry for peace rose up, who was it that our great Emperor turned to? The lady plays at games that are not appreciated at the court. You were... Ah, but a representative of your people, not one of the Emperor's closest advisors. Wait, what word is this from the front? The Emperor sends word of his return. The Horse Lords are unconquered, but our forces were undefeatable. What happened to cease the expansion of the Empire, dear lady? 
bored. To think that... I question Our Lady's dedication to the Empire. The reports I have here indicate that the Emperor was halted by a celestial event of great portent. And so, our most noble Emperor saw a sign from the heavens. Our mighty armies, poised to crush the Horse Lords and stretch the Empire to the ends of the Earth, but we stopped. For now, even I see that there are limits to ambition, and overreaching those limits invites nothing but disaster. All praise the Emperor, for his wisdom is infinite. My lady, you have my deepest thanks for bringing this news to us. I shall inform the court immediately. What in the dragon's eye was that? I saw no trees in there. Oh, the informant will suffer for a lifetime. You there, Lady Fourteen Flowers. That had to be the worst performance since Effective Pathos tried to complete his role in Tale of the Singing Reed after taking a sandbag to the head. Your performance was a mockery of all things good and decent. He was tired of winning all the time. Where in all the Empire did that track come from? There will be no payment for you. We'll be lucky if our director doesn't kill us all before he takes his own life out of shame. Be gone, hack, charlatan, prevaricator, get out of my sight! I'll be lucky if the director doesn't fling me into the river. I must go try to calm him. Had your, uh, moment, did you? You do, do you? I have been asking around, you know. I can't believe that performance! Disgraceful! Had you followed the original script, it would have been a masterpiece! But you mangled it! Had you honored yours, of course. You promised that you would perform my play, not that bastardized version. Frankly, I'm surprised they made that many changes. I know my own work, and I'd have let that performance slide had you flubbed only one of the important lines. But that was terrible. No one could have enjoyed that. Terrible. Just terrible. <laughs> 